because I realized that what was living behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply evil. Screw the intro because the Texas Chainsaw Massacre gameplay trailer is out and I'm so excited to go over this. One of my favorite franchises of all time and that's with obviously Halloween and um, Friday the 13th. And Texas Chainsaw, been a huge fan for years, especially the original film. Um, and kind of want to see what this thing is, is like, so let's get straight into it. You know I can't let you leave. A lot of hiding. <laughs> you can't hide yeah. from me. <laughs> oh, it's your own man. fault. Grandpa. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, J Johnny, you, you ever take pictures of it when you're done? I, I, I do. It's real fun. Holy shit, guys. This game is going to be fantastic. Um, What to say? I mean, we saw some glimpses of point of view of gameplay. And, you know, you can't kill the cook. You can't kill the hitchhiker. You can't kill Leatherface. It's a survival game, pretty much. So you have to work with other survivors or work on your own. See that You know, you saw Leatherface opening up this little freezer and grabbing somebody out of it. So you can hide. You could turn lights off. And I really like the underground passage. Um. I think that's from I think it's from the second movie, which I remember you that had that whole underground cave passage with the bones and everything all around. And I think they've really kept their characters into their authenticity. I mean, the cook sounds like the cook. Obviously, the actor's not alive anymore, but uh, the guy that plays the hitchhiker, he actually did the voice um, for his old character he played back in the day. So and just seeing Leatherface chase uh, chase a hurting victim outside um, of the compound is kind of crazy. So we know we're getting a few maps. We don't know. I know the gas station is definitely one of them. Uh, I definitely noticed in this trailer too the green light um, that you see that somebody pulls the trigger that pulls the thing down and the green light and the door opens. So I don't know how you actually survive the whole entire day, night, whatever the case may be. I heard there's going to be weather. There's going to be a weather system in this game too, which is kind of cool. So like it'll be nighttime to daytime. It might be a full nighttime depending on when the game starts, um, which is awesome. Uh, but I don't know what the final verdict is of, of actually how to survive in this game, which I'm actually really, um, I'm actually, uh, I'm, I'm pretty stoked about it, man. Like if it's just surviving and running around and turn lights off like that, and it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. So obviously this is a three versus four, um, which, which is good. Um, it's going to be a little different, you know, after the Friday the 13th, you know, game came out and, you know, it, because of the lawsuit and, you know, fans made sure that there was no, there was going to be none of that, you know, lawsuits or anything happening with the making of this game. But between every flower to every patch of grass to every bit of anything to a building, um, they went out, they went out there and, you know, from every grain of what you see outside and inside that house, uh, they worked their tails off. And I know they're trying to they're really, they're trying to do a good job on this game. They're really trying to, um, you know, I guess you could say win back 
the fans from what they did the Friday the 13th, but it really wasn't their fault because I think they would have added a lot more content to that game, and they've already talked about a lot of DLC down the road coming for this game. Uh, for me, just in general, I wasn't a big Evil Dead fan. I like the game. It's okay, but this I'm just so interested in because it's just survival, and that's what... Really, Texas Chainsaw Massacre is all Texas Chainsaw Massacre is all about. It's all about surviving the the day, the surviving the night of Leatherface, and kind of how kind of how Sally Hardesty survived that whole night and what she had to go through to survive. Obviously, they killed that once the, the new movie came out, but um, and playing as the playing as the killers and the hitchhiker, the cook, and Leatherface. I don't even care which one I am. I want to see what the perks are for each character. I heard there's a big progression system with this game, um, which is awesome. I mean, I love the voices. I love even watching the cook like kill that guy and ha and how he does it and just the movements. And they really went went to the authenticity to this, you know, to the characters and and the game itself. Man, I, I absolutely love it. I think it looks great and um, it it looks like a classic. I mean, we're reliving a classic. And and I think they're adding in a really good storyline to this game. Um, this girl that goes out to look at the uh, the flowers and uh, the flowers that are blooming in Texas. She takes pictures. She's a photographer, and then she she's missing. And then pretty much the story takes place of this game where all these survivors are. I think one is her sister, and then the rest are her friends. And they're trying to see what's going on and why she disappeared. And obviously, they run into this house. And yeah, that's pretty much what happens. Um, it, it looks really good. I mean, you see the, you see the hitchhiker using his switchblade and just, you know, slicing her up. I mean, it, it's the, like I said, authentic, authenticity is definitely here. Um, hiding places, you know, obviously sneaking around the house There's going to be lights blinking and it's going to be crazy. The graphics look good. So obviously this isn't, there's only, this is only for ninth gen console. So you can't play this on PS4. You can't play this for Xbox one. Xbox One X, whatever. Um, this is going to be for Xbox Series X, PC, um, and PS5. So I'm pretty pumped about it. I'm pre-ordering this game, and it's not coming out till next year. I thought we were going to we were going to get this game at the end of this year. It looks like we're not going to get that, which I'm fine. The longer it takes, the better it's going to be. Something to look forward to next year. You know what I mean? So I'm going to be live streaming this game a lot. Um, on this channel, which I haven't live streamed yet, but it should be a lot of fun. So um, hopefully we get a little bit more gameplay as the, you know, we still have a long time till this game comes out, but I, I really like that they showed us a good amount of stuff. It wasn't full gameplay, but it, it was pretty much like you saw some point of view gameplay, um, you know, points um, during this trailer, which is great. I mean, at least we got some sample size of what we got, so. Um, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this game. Do you think it's going to be a banger? Do you think this is going to be better than Friday the 13th? Or really the best game that Gun Media has ever done so far? Um, because I think it's I think it's going to be really good. I, I think they have worked their tails off. I think this game is going to be fantastic when it comes out. And I'll be playing this every single day. <laughs> so that's what's going to happen. So other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.